Hi, welcome to Tea and Mystics. Today I'm just going to be sharing a short review of this book, Grimoires, A History of Magic Books by Owen Davies, while I am sipping on some wonderful candy cane tea from Trader Joe's. I was interested in learning a little bit more on the history of the grimoire books and I came across this book which is more of an academic text which was really what I was looking for. And Owen Davies has previously published books that had to do with looking of the history of magic in England and um, some of the history of the cunning folk. So I thought this would be a really good one to turn to and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's looking to really learn a lot more about the history of grimoires how they sort of started, how they were shared throughout um, the United Kingdom, but also continental Europe, and then into the United States, how they were shared and how they um, were produced there. It's a really good um, overview of the history of magic books. I also appreciated that right away, um, Davy shares how there's very much a cross-pollination that happens with the various religious traditions that are around during the time of um, early grimoires and as they develop. The books themselves take inspiration from the different Christian traditions around and Islam and also Jewish um, magic traditions. So, you know, from the beginning grimoires are very much this amalgamation of different ideas and different traditions. Uh, it also really gets into what happened when the printing press started, how that changed, how grimoires were shared and produced, and in ways that they weren't necessarily changed. It's clear a lot of scholarship and research was put into the book, so you really do learn a lot about the history of the grimoire when reading it. I really enjoyed it, and again, I recommend it to anyone who wants to learn a little bit more of the history of grimoires. There are parts where he shares, um, you know, small excerpts of the of some of the ancient grimoires, but that's not the focus of the book. The focus is on the history of the books and how they were shared and um, what they meant culturally for um, where the different grimoires were shared and produced. One of the things that I learned that I found really interesting is that one of the ways in which grimoires were shared and became popular is with treasure hunters, people who were really seeking, you know, riches in the form of actual treasure and finding it. And I found that really interesting. It was something I didn't know about that had to do with grimoires. And also another side is that sometimes when we have a picture of some of those people who would have these vast libraries of esoteric books and grimoires, um, we think of them as being like, people who practice with the grimoires, but he really shares that a lot of the people who sort of became collectors of the books were really just big, huge bibliophiles who really loved the books and looking at them and studying them, but not necessarily using them for any magical purposes. So I found that interesting to learn as well, but there's all sorts of things that you learn from the book. So again, if you have any interest in it, I would definitely recommend picking it up. I found it um, on the Blackwell's bookseller website and I'll link down below to where you can find it. Today I'm sipping on some candy cane um, tea that is from Trader Joe's. I was really lucky I found a box that I had of it that was from the year before because I don't live in the United States so I don't have the Trader Joe's store but I really like their candy cane um, tea. I find it really good for when you're feeling you know, just your tummy's like a little upset. It's really good for calming it down and I really like the taste of candy cane. So I find it just a really nice tea to have in an afternoon when, you know, maybe your tummy's not feeling its best and you want something nice and comforting to take in. Thanks so much for tuning in to Tea and Mystics. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below, subscribe and hit the bell so you always know when there's a new video. Once again, thanks for tuning in to Tea and Mystics. Cheers!